there are many exercises that we can do that really enhance our confidence with our brush strokes and also our skill with the way we use the brush. Here's one I think that you might enjoy. What you'll need in order to make this work for you is find a simple image, a simple image, something like a flower like I have here, or anything that's simple that doesn't have too much stuff going on in there. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is to then determine what colors you're going to need for that. So you, want, you don't want too many colors for an exercise like this. Uh, in this case, um, I'm just going to have variations on yellow. And then the next thing is to uh, put on your palette the colors that you'll need in order to make the colors you see. Well, I see I, I have yellow here. I'm seeing that it also goes towards yellow-orange. And I see that the yellows are thrown into shadow. So that suggests to me that it's going to need the complement of purple. So I believe I can do this exercise just with, um, with a yellow and a yellow-orange and a purple. And then you'll want to get a brush that's um, relatively wide and one that you feel comfortable working with. Uh, the shape of the brush should be determined by the shape of the image. So that's what you do to get set up. Then uh, develop just a very loose preliminary drawing. It doesn't have to be precise. And put a little post-it note or a sheet of paper uh, nearby or on your canvas so that you can easily work with it. And the reason we're doing that is we want to do a complete study of this flower with 15 strokes. Now, how do we define a stroke? A stroke is defined as from the time the brush hits the canvas until it leaves the canvas. Or in the case, if you're working with watercolor, you can do this too. From, from the time the brush hits the paper until it lifts up from the paper, that's a stroke. So, uh, the, the next thing then is to begin. Now you don't have to put any time limit on this. You can go very slowly and you can have as much time be between strokes as you want. But the idea is to get the most out of a single stroke that you can get. So if I start say right in here, I would like to start into the sh in the shadow of the flower uh, because then if I have that darkest dark of the, all the yellows in there, that enables me then uh, to build towards the lighter lights. It makes it a little bit easier. So what do I need to get that? Well, I know that I can pull, I know I need some, some yellow. In this case, this is the Hansa Yellow Light uh, by Utrecht. And I'll know I need some yellow orange. <clears throat> and I know I need some purple. Now I have here um, a quinacridone, uh, no, 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 carbazole violet, which is, uh, which I have um, value line made of with white. So uh, this is pretty much the same value or in the same value range as these and so uh, that makes a good shadow color to use this to create the shadow. So now uh, what I want now is to find, load the brush with enough of that shadow color that, um, or as much of that shadow color as I think I will need in order to paint uh, this area of shadow. Now can I get it with one stroke? That's my first thing. If I can't get it with one stroke, can I get it with two strokes? Now let me see. First of all, I want to compare. Well, you see I have the right value here. Uh, pretty close to the right value. I have pretty close to the right color. I see some variations, so I could just not mix the color very well, or I could kind of double load the, the brush just a little bit so I could get some variations in those strokes. And the next thing is to start stroking. I'm going to give it just a little bit of wetness there so that it will spread a little bit more easily. Next thing is to start stroking. So here's my first stroke. So uh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to move it in here and I'm going to shape this. I'm going to turn the brush like that to shape that end of the flower where I see it in shadow. Pull right down here. I'm going to pull still. I haven't lifted the brush yet so that's still one stroke. And I'll just pull the brush flat like this and back and forth. Still haven't picked up the brush yet, so I still have just one stroke. I'm going to just kind of turn the brush around a little bit. Still got paint on the end of it. I might make it, I might make it, I might make it. And I did, pretty much. Uh, so there's my first stroke. Now, to keep up with this, I'll just make myself a little mark right here, keeping score. 
that's one stroke. Now, um, I might want, I see some areas in here that are a little bit darker, so I might want to then deepen that shadow just a little bit with the tip of the brush. And uh, it doesn't need to be really much deeper, but deepen it just a little bit. Now, as my second stroke, I'm going to enhance that. So now what I'll do is I'll start the stroke right here. I'll kind of blend it in a little bit, and I'll pull it out. And then I will let it protrude as I see those little shapes protruding. Give it a little bit of blend by pulling it flat against the surface there. Just give it a little bit of blend. Uh, work it and give it a little bit more of that shape that we see in there. And then I'll bring it back, bring it back in this area, and then I can bring it back like this, like that. And along, you see, I haven't picked up the brush yet. I'm still working in that same. There's my second stroke. So I'll take my pencil and here. So the fun of this is to see just how much you can pull out of the brush. So let's see, let's see for my third stroke, I think I'll try to get that little bright spot in the air, in the center there. And I'll just build one section at a time. So for the third stroke, I'm going to go into the, and see, I'll put a little bit of orange in that. That seems to be a little bit oranger than the, the rest of the flower. And so I'll get a little bit of orange in there. Keep that kind of bright. Load the brush really, really good. And um, we're about ready to go for my third stroke. So, okay, here I go. I'll just kind of place that in there and look at the image and begin to kind of shape it according to what I see in the image. And I believe that third stroke worked pretty well, just like that. So let's make a third stroke right here, keeping tabs. All right, now I think I'll just build backwards with that. Uh, since I have this in the brush already, and I see uh, this this next shape mm, seems to be a combination of, of the color that's on the brush and maybe a little bit of green in there. Well, I didn't see that green to put out on the palette, but I already, I had just happened to have a little green on the palette. So I'm just going to add that little bit of green in there, make it a little bit more, uh, more like what I see. I see here my same value. It needs to be a little bit darker. So see, we... We, we watch for the we watch for the value, we watch for the color as it changes, we watch for the intensity as it changes, and kind of load that in the brush. And let's see, do I have now what I need? Ah, yes, I think so. So let's see now how much I can get out of this. I'm going to start like right in here. I'm just going to kind of move it up like that, let it turn. I think I'll just kind of go backwards a little bit like that, get, let that kind of blend with that area behind it. And... Pull it on down like this. I think I'll come back up a little bit like that. Let's see, what else can I get? I probably can go down here, pick up a little bit of that shadow with it. Still, still the same stroke. And could I pick up that shadow with it too? How much can I squeeze out of that stroke? Well, that probably is enough. So that's stroke four. Um, maybe if I get it less than, less, than, less than ten strokes. So then let's go down in here. A little bit more of the yellow. A little bit more of the yellow. That's a little bit darker and a little bit oranger. This little section right in here. So let's just see what we can do there. And we'll pull that into a stroke like that. And kind of let it turn like that. I am going to go down and see what I can pick up like that. Uh, I felt the cheat at that time. Because I didn't get as much coverage as I wanted to. But um, sometimes that's the, that's the way it works. It depends on the image. So we try to get as much coverage coverage as we can out of a single stroke. Now I see something else I want to do here. So I'm going to go back into that shadow color. And uh, I still have lots of strokes, so I feel pretty generous. I'm going to go back in the shadow color, and I'm going to connect it right here, and then just widen this little area a little bit. And Now that makes me feel better about that. Now, uh, now uh, let's see, I'm going to go into the brighter yellow area. And uh, see little, some of that area is a little lighter, so I'll add a little white in there and kind of double load the, the, the well, it really is not double load, kind of have the brush loaded in some areas with a little bit of white in it and some with a little yellow, so kind of not thoroughly mixed in that. And let's see here what we can do. Uh, I think I'll start right here at the bottom. I'll pull into that shadow right there. And right there, I'm going to turn the brush back like that. Move over towards the edge. I'm going to turn it back like that. Move on towards that that petal end. Turn it like that. 
move it right around to catch the shape of the petal, turn it around. See, that way we become aware or we discover how many different ways we can move the brush in order to create a shape that we need. I am going to go, um, I want to go for the darker parts of the top of it there. So I'll just go back. This one is picking up more of the green, this part. So I'll go back into there and pick up more of that shadow color. It's darker. And let's see what we can get out of that. Now I'm, I'm going to leave this part out. I'm going to cheat a little bit there and just leave that part out. So let's see. I'm um, going up here. All right, we might just start right in here. All right, so here we go. I'm coming down like that, coming down to the side. I'm wishing now that I have put more paint in the brush. And this is good too for you to see because that makes us more aware. See, I lost the stroke there because I didn't put enough paint in the brush and that makes us aware that we need more paint, uh, a, a whole lot of paint in the brush, enough paint in the brush to really get the most out of a stroke. And so all that's, uh, that's good for us to learn. We can learn those things when we practice these little exercises. So let's see, let's go a little bit more here. Uh, come over here, pull that one down there. Still getting a lot out of that one. That one kind of changes color a little bit there. That means I need to no use another stroke for that. And um, I'm coming right over here and see if I can get a little bit out of that. And I'll throw a little bit of the shot of color there. And that's another stroke. Did I miss tabulating a stroke here? So I was just told I missed two, tabulating two strokes. All right, so here we go. I said, there's five, there's nine. I'm getting close to the end. So I have six more strokes. <clears throat> and, all right, so what, what do we need here? We've got light and, uh, all righty. So we've got light and that's a little bit lighter. I need that uh, not quite so mixed. And let's see what I can get here. All right, so I'm going to go this way. Here again, I did not get enough color in the brush. I did not get all the color in the brush that I need in order to give me a stroke, and I got the color too light. But I still have to record the stroke. So see, that is part of the whole learning experience with this exercise, is be sure we have enough color loaded in the brush. I wish I could say I did that on purpose <laughs> to show that, to illustrate that point. But uh, it just worked out that way. All right, so this time I do have plenty of color in the brush. I'm going to go back and now pull it, define as much as I can of that petal. I'm going to go right up in here and catch that one. I'll come back. I'm going to come right over here and catch this little doodad right in there. And I'll come back and just put a little tip on that, like that. And there we go. I have now. 11 strokes. Now, what I want to do with uh, the next the next uh, stroke is I want to begin to put some dark behind there. So, what I'll do is to go for the purple, uh, really, a real, real dark purple here. And uh, I'll throw a little bit of, uh, since I've got the green out here, I want that really, really dark. So, I'll throw a little green into that purple so I can get it really, really dark. And I want to make that, see if I can get that in at least one or two strokes, just to uh, make that. Now you might ask, uh, make that um, emphasize it the way we see it there. You might ask why I didn't put the the dark background in first, because if I did, then the, I would be pulling that that uh, dark color all over, all over the um, the flower while I was forming it. So this is just an exercise, and it's just to see if we can make it happen. So. Let's see how much of the background I can get in with a single stroke. And I'll just keep moving around. See, I'm running out of paint already. So that tells me I didn't have nearly enough paint in there in order to really uh, move around that background. So I'm going to get it a little bit wetter and really load the brush in. So that was another stroke. So I, here we go. Ooh, this mark's kind of squibbly there. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three more strokes. All right, let's see if we can do it. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to, um, um, this is really good because then this also can help us to, to shape in the negative. So I can come around there and reshape, move back up. Haven't picked up the brush yet. Come around there and sort of reshape. 
haven't picked up the brush yet I'll come around here and sort of reshape haven't picked up the brush yet and carry that on up to kind of reshape that and just squeezing all of that I can out of that brush as I'm moving up and because I want to get this done in my 15 strokes so that's pretty much running out of paint now the stroke right here uh, right there. one two three so I have what I have left I have two more strokes oh my all right two more strokes I'm going to make it wetter a little bit like the paint a little bit wetter create some more mixtures now remember this is for study purposes so um so you would kind of uh you would kind of do some things here that you might not do if you if you're doing a painting if you're working a painting for real but what this is simply to to help us understand what our options are as far as working with brush strokes goes so let's come down we do a little bit of reshaping there give that little bit of space right there come down here oh we see a little overlap that's okay reshape that come on down come on down reshape that move that in reshape from the negative reshape from the negative a little bit I think I'm going to have a brush stroke left over I have one brush stroke now let's see okay I need to I'll take I'll use that last brush stroke to, to uh, put that one little area in there this last brush stroke right here put a little bit of white in here and just kind of pop this little piece right up here like that and pull that little shadow out like that and there's my 15 brush stroke study so if you found this quick tip helpful why not explore our full length instructional videos at dianemize.com we have numerous downloads and DVDs for you to select from so give it a try and there's your quick tip